Thank you for joining me for another episode of the show Must Go On. My name is Casey Bell. I am your host. And today's guest is Stevie Ritchie. He's appeared on a few television shows such as The X Factor. He was a finalist. Um, Celebrity Fat Fighters, Who's Doing the Dishes, and a few others. He is also a professional theater actor as well as a singer with the album with Sony Japan. Let's take a listen at our interview we had. I checked out your website and you've, it looks like you are a performer in the entertainment industry. Um, what can you remember when you first started to realize that you were interested in the arts? Well, what happened was I, I kind of, when I was 15 years old, um, I was in a high school production of Greece. And uh, I, I played, um, I played Kanicki, right? Uh, and I sung Grease Lightning, and you know, I just, and I just, I just thought, you know what? This is what I want to do, because uh, a lot of people were clapping and cheering and said I should have been Danny Zuko, and I was like, me, Danny, nah, 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 nah. But I, that's what I thought. That's when I thought, you know, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Since I was 15, and when I was 16, I turned pro and got my um, like equity card. Um, and yeah, it was just it just went from there, really, Casey. Yeah, brilliant. So, so what was your um, once you realized that, and you said you got your equity card? Um, well, ha- does it work the same where you are, where you have to be in a few shows before you can actually get the card? And how? Yeah, how was that process as far as um, auditioning? And was it quick, or did it take some time? No, I, I literally done a, um, a, like a professional gig, first professional gig, um, and then literally uh, I applied to be, uh, equity. I think you have to pay like a hundred pound a year or something, uh, and then just proof that you've you've done a professional contract, and then you get your equity card. It's quite it's quite weird, but nowadays you can get it pretty much uh, being a, a holiday camp entertainer, going to drama, theatre school. Um, and also doing uh, uh, other professional uh, credits. So, yeah, mine was quite quite of quick, really, Casey. It was really good. Yeah, really enjoyable. What is the something... I know when I was doing the arts, auditioning was something I hated. Um, so throughout the process, auditioning, rehearsals, maybe performances, maybe the fact that um, technically you don't have a life when you're in the arts... What what would be one of the things that you would say you really do not like about the entertainment business? Um, oh, that's a good question, Casey. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. I've, no one's ever asked me this. Um, I would say, quite possibly, it can be quite clicky. You know, it, it's not what you know; it's who you know. Um, and that can be quite hard sometimes because if you don't know nobody, then you know you're not going to get nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is what it's not what you know, it's who you know. Although talent does help, it really does. You know, you've got to be talented. You can't just not be uh you can't not be able to sing and dance and this and the other. You've got to be able to do all that. But I think it does help if you know someone in that sector of where you want to go, you know. So that's what I personally believe. It's very clicky. What was um one of the most memorable performances after becoming professional that you remember? Oh, I would say straight away in my head, it was singing. Um, I was singing at the London Palladium uh, for the Diana Princess M- Memorial. I've got to get that right. Um, you know, um, of course, you know, Diana not with us anymore. She, you know, got killed. Um, but it was singing at the London Palladium, which is one of the, well, the biggest theatre in, in London, really. Um London Palladium, everyone knows it. A lot of, you know, um, Americans there and all over the country have performed there. It's brilliant. So I suppose that's probably one of the things that when I was 16 got in my head, I was like, wow, this is just amazing. You know, it's packed as well. Absolutely brilliant, Casey. So that springs to mind, yeah. So there are many uh, talented people who've wanted to be on you know, The Voice or American Idol or X Factor, but for whatever reason, they talk themselves out of auditioning. (laughs) So you appeared on The X Factor. What was it or who was it or 
that really said, I'm going to do this even if I am scared? So what it was, um, I auditioned for X Factor about seven times, not in a row, but from seven years throughout, throughout the whole uh, that's been on. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I said to myself, I want to change my life for me and my daughter. And I just one day went for it. I didn't care what people thought. Um, other times I did care what people think of me. But, you know, I just thought I'm just going to be me this time and have a good laugh, be me. And if people don't like it, Sodom. So that's what I, that's what I done. I just literally I came out of my shell and be me. And then that's that's when I think the producers of the show started to take uh, notice of me. And I never regret it ever because it got me really far. And Simon Cow, I mean, what can I say? He is just simply divine. He's just amazing. And <laughs> you were also on, I believe, what the Celebrity Fat Fighters, I believe. Yes. It's called. Celebrity yeah how did that happen yeah so celebrity fat fighters um i was i'm quite um i'm I'm a lot leaner now but i was quite fat back then this was going back about two or three years i love my food i don't know about you casey but i love my bloody grub right i have chocolate i have burgers i have the lot i love my food right and i uh, i think they picked me because i was good for the show and i was a little bit overweight and that sort of came about um and i lost like I think it was how long I was there for a week and I lost like 11 pounds in a week just by eating like this bloody vegetable soup and stuff and, 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 and fruit and stuff like that and exercising, walking. So that was quite, it was quite intense as well, but I lost 11 pounds in that one week. It was brilliant. So being in the entertainment business, um, you know, there are ways to be in the entertainment business with YouTube and um, TikTok, but most people are either on the stage or they're on a studio set, something. So when, you know, March came in 2020 and everything was shut down, what was your first response to that? Oh, Casey, I'll tell you what, I think it's everyone's like, everyone's a nightmare because I, I was so scared of going out. I, I was. I, I didn't even leave the house. I left the house once a week, even to see my, my daughter, to see my parents, to get food in. That's it. I didn't even go for a walk. So what i done, I focused on getting my body looking good. Um, i done Insanity. Uh, you probably heard of that um, by Sean T. So I've done Insanity. I've done weights outside. Um, I've done some singing inside here, warming up. And that's all i done. And I was so, so like distraught about it, thinking... Well, I can't perform now for however long. So that's what I've done, focused on a different part of my life. And uh, it worked. And then come August last year, I started to perform again when um, things started to open up. Uh, and that was great. Um, and, of course, it's, it's been hard for every performer. You know, you should, even you should know that it's just been bloody hard because there's, you know, it, our arts are the last thing to open up during this COVID thing. So, you know, it's been hard, but hey, got to stay focused and stay positive in a good way. <laughs> Has there been any um, changes? Because here in America, they're doing, you know, play readings online, of course. Um, they're doing um, recorded performances and then showing them. Um, they're having limited audience you know, like a small amount of audience, are, are they making any changes over there to somewhat, not completely, obviously, they can't completely go back to the way things were, but are they doing some things to somewhat? Yeah, they, um, so they've, they're still doing film and TV and stuff over here, but all the theatres and all the holiday parks, they're all shut. Um, any auditions are through like Zoom now and online and everything else. Um, so everything's in lockdown here, Casey, everything. Literally, we're all in lockdown over here. Uh, there's only the food shops are open up and the essential shops, you know, so everything else is shut. Um, so, But they're still doing the TV and film things. So that's the only thing. But all theatre, West End stuff, all shut, all shut, you know. So it's hard, you know, but hey, 
you know, I'm just trying to stay positive and, and keep a good mind and not be, because mental health is everything, Casey. I'm a big believer mm. in mental health and a lot of people do have it and go through it and it, depression and anxiety. And I've had anxiety and depression and um, mental health. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of over that now. Um, still get a little bit of anxiety. Don't get me wrong, because I'm only normal. But I'm staying positive and with a good mind. Okay. That's the case. <laughs> so once, because um, they're now giving out vaccines or whatever, mm. once things, even if everyone is 100% cured, chances are theaters are going to rethink how they do things as far as reopening up, how many people they allow in, um, putting sanitizers, blah, 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 blah. But as far as the side of being an artist, um, is there anything you think the theater world or the entertainment world needs to change? Um, whether it's, as you said, that it's kind of an insider job. Um, one of the things I would like to see change is, I don't know if you heard of the, um, the musical Hair. Musical Hair? The, oh, the Broadway musical Hair. Musical. Yeah. They were very innovative because it was the first Broadway show where all of the actors were not experienced. None of them ever been on stage. They never done theater. They were all, a lot of them, he literally took off the streets. He saw them singing on the streets. So he said, would you like to be in the show? Wow. And it was very successful. Um, it was at that time, the longest running musical on Broadway. Wow. And then when it closed, no one said, let's continue to do that. They kind of went back to, we're only gonna hire, you know, people, we know, or people, blah, 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 blah. And I would like to see them open up more because in, on Broadway, they will put someone on stage who's a celebrity who has no talent, but because they have a name. Yeah. But then someone with much talent <laughs> and doesn't have a name, they won't give them a time of day. So I would like to see them change in that matter to allow people, even if they've never been on stage, if you can see, you can groom them to give them that chance. And so in theater as a whole, as a whole, from your experience, what did you see that you really would like to see change? Um, I think for me, it's gotta be, um, I'm pretty much on your level with that um, because there is big, big names and they, they get them because they're, big, you know, like they're a big superstar or whatever, but they can't sing or whatever. So I think, yeah, that for me, Definitely with you on that. Definitely with you on that. But also, I think giving people a chance who have done kind of um, the talent shows, for instance, or the reality TV that can actually sing and hold a note uh, and has got some showmanship, you know, maybe give them a, ch a chance, you know, to, to uh, kind of audition, just even see them. You know, sometimes, you know, people just don't get seen. I don't get seen. You know, the, I look at your photo and your, and your resume and you go, oh, you know, but sometimes it would just be nice just to go, okay, let's, let's give this, uh, someone a chance. A bit like Rocky, you know, the underdog got a chance, didn't he? And got a shot at the world title. Uh, and well, one of the greatest movies ever made, by the way, as well, Rocky, I love it. Um, and yeah, it's something like that, giving sort of someone a shot uh, at, you know, being, um, kind of a superstar or, 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 or taking the lead role. So yeah, I'm totally with you on that. Yeah, totally, Casey. I, lo I love it. All right. Yeah. Hmm. The last question I have for you today is um, if you could, um, anyone you admire you would like to work with in the theater or in t film or TV, and this is pretend so they don't have to actually be alive, so anyone you've seen their talent or you've seen their, their work and you would like to collaborate with them, who would that be? Oh, my days. Well, I've got two, two, Casey, right? And they are just, these people for me are the ultimate showman. They, no one could ever touch them or match them. Showmanship, voice, talent, uh, charisma, flamboyancy, the lot. I would have to go with Freddie Mercury, and Elvis Presley, absolutely the best ever, ever people that have ever walked like in the entertainment industry that have ever walked this earth. Now I know they're dead, but I'll tell you what, wow. If I had even half of their voices, I think I would be a superstar by now. 
because Freddie had this thing where, you know, no one can match. He could do every single thing possible. Pop, theatre, um, opera, uh, rock, everything. Elvis had this charisma that no one else had. Uh, and for me, them two, if I, I would just, ah, oh, I would love to work with them two. If they were, you know, still alive today, I would just be like, wow, you know, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Stevie, Richie, thank you so much for sharing your time with me on The Show Must Go On. That is all for this episode. I want to thank my audience for taking the time to view this episode. Have a great day. Amazing. I like that response. What about you, Casey? (laughs) Me? I don't know. I don't know. Well... If I had the chance, um, as the the side of singing, I don't know if you heard of Richard Smallwood singers, but they're um, they I think by the mid '90s they disbanded. But if I had the chance to sing with them, I, I would very much like that. Oh wow! So you sing, dance, and act as well, do you? Like Casey? Yeah, I used to. Oh, what I, do you I do haven't now? been. Um, um, I'm a writer, author. Oh my God! Wow. Yeah, but I haven't actually been on this. I haven't been on the stage officially since 2006, and I say officially because in 2011 I was in a play, but it was because I was working on the offstage side of it, and two weeks before the show opened, an actor quit, and oh. they needed a quick replacement. So I, oh, wow. I said, yeah. I felt bad saying no, so I said, yeah, I'll do it. And it was simple. I had like two, three lines, and I was mostly stage um, crew. Um, but that's 2011 was my very last time on stage. So Wow. Would you ever go back? Um, it depends. I mean, I want to go back, but I don't. Oh. Um, I don't for the sense of, because I haven't done it for, it's kind of like, getting a workout routine and then you stop for 10 years <laughs> and then when you yeah. start again your body really does reset and you have to it takes time to get used to it and yeah so the process of it's one thing when it's a one night only but when you're thinking of theater even if it's community theater doing it three shows or six shows the same show over again in the process of rehearsal and then um the costume changes and just all of that. The question is, do I really want to, do I have the passion to go back into doing that? And because I haven't done it in such a long time. I don't know if that's <laughs> something I really want to do. Wow. Wow. That's, that's, uh, that's just crazy. Like, it's just so cool. Like you said that, like, yeah, I mean, I do get what you mean. And um, yeah, for me, I, I don't want to stop performing. Yeah. When this COVID is over, I want to keep going and, and sing my ass off and everything. You know, I really do. I, I love it. My heart, I, I, it's it's the only thing I'm good at. I'm I'm crap at everything else. I can't add up and that you know and whatnot. Well, I can, but I'm not good at it. Um, I I just perform. That's that's it. So I can't wait for this shit to be over. Excuse me, <laughs> you know. It's just ah, uh, it's it is so annoying. But you know, at the same time, it's horrible for the people that um you know have uh, sort of died in of it. Um and people that have got it you know so yeah i'm great on the aspect that you know i'm still here and um you know i'm talking to the likes of yourself you know so it's just horrible it really is and you know i'm biden i'm president biden he is just a ledge and i'm I'm glad that you know he is now just well president your you know your country is just i think he's amazing what do you think of him i don't really know much about him i right. don't really yeah i know I kind of knew of him when he became vice president, but I never really took the time to study and research his past. So I can't really, right. not to mention, I don't, I don't think TV shows you who people really are. Mm. So I don't believe in giving my opinion on someone I've never sat down and talked to. I don't know their history. I don't know their mm. upbringing, their family, their, how their parent. you know, there's so much that really makes a person that just looking at their political views to me doesn't tell me who they are. So I don't really have a yeah. opinion on him. No, totally, Casey. Yeah. No, that's a fair comment actually as well. I can't believe you're in New Jersey. That's just 
so amazing. Just like, wow, I have to go one day. I love it. It's just, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been a, a place I've always wanted to sort of go to. Like I say, that in New York, just, I've never been. Been to LA and I've been to Florida, but never been to those places. So, yeah, who knows, one day. <laughs> just, um, I love the States. The States rule, man. The States rule. They're just it's, pretty. I guess I it's, a, um, it's a, um, a case of the grass is always greener. Yeah. Because I would, <laughs> I, I would like to leave America and travel to see other parts of the world. Wow. Would, yeah. yeah. When this COVID's finished, you know, you might as well do it, Casey. You might as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, it's not just waiting for COVID. It's waiting f- for the, the wallet to say I can go. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> right, got you. But would you go everywhere? Like everywhere? Um, everywhere. Um, I probably wouldn't go um, as far as continent-wise, um, Antarctica, because I'm not a fan <laughs> of cold. Um, of course, yeah. But yeah. I, I mean, I don't know where I would go first or what I would see first, but it would be nice to to see more than what I see. Got you. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, see other parts of the world. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Come, you know, you've been England though. And yeah, you've been England, been UK. Me? I have not. No. Oh my God. Okay, I like to- well, London, obviously, London's the, the capital of, uh, you know, UK, and it is the, the you know, a bit like, um, I suppose, Broadway, I suppose, it's a bit like that, it's just nuts, but amazing. You've got to come to UK, Casey, you'll love it. <laughs> yeah, I was, um, what was it, three years ago, I think, when um, someone, I, I don't know her personally, but someone I know was there, um, she was cast in a show when they did Dreamgirls in London. Oh my she god! Was, yeah, she was cast as Effie, and oh. I wanted to go see her, but I was like, yeah. "It's not happening." Oh so. my god! Yeah. Oh wow, Dreamgirls. Yeah, but you know, also, I have to say, now, the shows in Broadway are just ridiculously crazy, amazing, like out of this world. Like, you know, um, I mean, our yeah, our West End are great. They are, but the Broadway, I mean, I don't know. It's another world, isn't it? <laughs> it really <laughs> is. It really is. But hey, you know, I can dream one day I'll be on Broadway. <laughs> one day. Who knows? Who knows? You know. We will see. We will see. But yeah. 